The reality is, I mean, anybody can become homeless or live in poverty, even those who are not born into the cycle of it. I've had families where I have a single mother. Uh, she's got four children. She lost her husband, uh, you know, a long time ago, early on in life, and has struggled in many, many ways. Because when she got married, she actually was, um, you know, a housewife or a house mom. And so all of a sudden, she had this kind of gap, and then to try to get back into the job force has been very, very hard. And she's not been able to catch up in a sense. So that's one, one family situation. I have another, a single father, who lost his wife to cancer. And he's got two children, and he lost everything in Hurricane Katrina. You guys know Hurricane Katrina? He had a job, he had a house, and he lost all of it because of a natural disaster. Right, so you see these faces of homelessness, and often all we see or know about homelessness is sometimes uh, stereotypes that are kind of perpetuated through the media. Right? Often, if I go into the community and I'm, I'm talking about homelessness, I'll ask people, why are, why are people homeless? And the first answers I often get are, they're lazy. You know, they, they, they could just get, go get a job. Right? These are the kinds of answers that I get often. And um, even when I ask people, describe to me a homeless person, a lot of times the first thing they'll say is kind of a man on the corner of the street, you know, has a drinking problem. And I think these are images that have really put, been put on homelessness through media. When in reality, right, what we know is actually people living in homelessness and poverty, they abuse alcohol and drugs far less than people in the higher economic levels, people who are middle class or um, you know, in upper class situations. Uh, you know, the difference is when you're, you have a house, you can drink behind doors, right? Nobody sees you. Um, and so that's one difference. The other thing is, some of the people, if you do see them drinking, you can't just judge them right away. They can't afford to go to a doctor. So what happens is alcohol is actually a cheaper way to self-treat in a way, to kind of forget about your pain, to kind of uh, numb everything. And so sometimes it's, it's this kind of vicious cycle, right, that kind of feeds into itself. But you can see how complex all of this is. It's not just kind of a simple thing that we can say, well, this is why people are homeless.